Hi. Last weekend, my friend Linda asked about the Red Sea and the Reed Sea and wondered where those two terms came from and whether they were the same place. I thought I'd go look them up in the Torah in Hebrew and see if I could figure out anything. And then I realized lots of people may not know how to do that with Safari, so I thought I'd make this little video and show you because it's kind of cool and it's actually pretty easy even if, like me, you really don't know much Hebrew other than what you had when you were in Sunday school as a kid. So here we are at the front page of Safari, and I'm going to search for Reed C. So you can type all kinds of things up here in the search box. You can type English, you can type Hebrew, you can even type uh, transliterations, and it does really well. So I've typed read C, I'm going to hit enter, and here it is right at the top, Exodus 15.22. So I'll click on that, and it brings us right to the passage with the Hebrew and the English. Now what's really cool about Safari is it's got a Hebrew dictionary built into it, and you don't even have to read much Hebrew to take advantage of it. So I can just kind of look along here. I recognize Yisrael uh, from my prayers. There's Yisrael, and then next comes Mayim. Now, I remember the song about Mayim, Mayim, Mayim from when I was in camp, and I think Mayim has something to do with, to do with water. So I'm going to click on it. That opens up the resources on the right. And now I'll double-click on Mayim, and you see it opens up the dictionary right here on, on the right and I don't have to do anything other than double-click on it. And indeed, Mayim is C, just like I remembered it to be. So here's Mayim, and if I look down here, read C, I wonder if this word Suf next to Mayim is read. I don't know what it is, so I'm going to double-click on it so I get the dictionary. And there it is, Suf over here on the right, and if I scroll down, here's the definition. It reads rush water plant. So it is a read C. And that's all there is to it. You, you can click on any word in the Hebrew and you can just kind of walk along word by word and find out what they all mean. And it's kind of fun to actually be able to look at the literal translation of the Hebrew and try and match that up with the English and what we're studying about it. So then the question was what happened, where, where did Red Sea come from? I went to Edim online and this is an etymology website that's got all kinds of good information. So I'll just type in Red Sea here and hit enter. And here's the definition of the Red Sea. It's from the Greek. And surprisingly, no one knows where the name came from. So there you go, two of my favorite tools for looking things up. Edom Online for looking things up in English. And Safari's Hebrew Dictionary for looking things up in Hebrew. Thanks for watching. And thank you, Linda, for suggesting that I dig into this.